Okay, so this video is going to be a bit different because this was posted by Phil. I will leave his link down below to his YouTube channel and to the original video. But we have a leak from Phil about Ho-O. Now, I do just want to make a disclaimer that a leak is just, you know, a leak. We don't know any sources. Al Chico Eevee is the most reliable source. But we do have leaks from time to time from other people. So always take it with a grain of salt. But thank you to Phil for sharing this. And I can't wait to jump into this. I'm a bit of a softie. Ho-O is one of my not favorite Pokemon. But as a kid, seeing that Pokemon in the sky in that movie, it was like so rare. And I thought it was just super cool. And it's just, it's just stuck with me. Let's jump into the abilities of this Pokemon. So it is apparently a defender. Um, but the passive is regenerator. When a Pokemon does not take damage from the other team's Pokemon for a certain period of time, its HP gradually recovers. Oh, okay. So it's like um that one item that no one uses. I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> But if it doesn't take any damage, you just get your HP back. That's the passive. I wonder how much the heal will be. Basic attack slash boosted attack. The third normal attack becomes a reinforced attack that cleaves flames, increases the damage dealt, and recovers HP. The amount of HP recovered increases if the enhanced attack hits more than one Pokemon. Oh, so there's a lot of sustain on Ho-Oh. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Ho-Oh. <laughs> but there's a lot of sustain on this Pokemon. And it is a defender. It's going to just like you know like Gudra has a lot of sustain as well it's kind of reminded me of that a little bit but it looks like it does damage as well skill number one is safeguard protects you with its magical power and reduces the damage you take next when damage is reduced its movement speed is increased for a short time oh so it applies a safeguard to another per like to your ally and that's really good for like i would say people that just gonna go in i think it'd be really good on like all rounders and stuff like just to give them that extra sustain and oomph because i feel like all rounders already are just like a bit little you know, but this is one of the first abilities and I think at the beginning everyone's just a little bit squishy. <laughs> Skill number two is Tailwind. Creates a vortex of wind in the specified direction, damaging the opponent's Pokemon. The vortex remains for a while and Pokemon on your side that go in the direction of the wind will move faster, while Pokemon on your side that go in the opposite direction will move slower. So hold on a sec. Pokemon on your side that go in the direction will move faster and Pokemon that go in We'll move slower why would you want to move slow why would your team want to move slower I, I think i'm just a bit confused with this text here i think this is supposed to be enemy team but it says opposite direction it's very specific I, I maybe i'm just not understanding this ability right then we have skill one upgrades into fly and fly plus increases the height of the pokemon's flight allows it to ignore walls and increases its movement speed and attack power the next three normal attacks following the use of this move become enhanced attacks allowing the attacker to use normal attacks and moves while moving. Using this move again causes it to descend to the ground with great force, damaging surrounding Pokemon. After Upblade, the Pokemon will be able to something longer period of time. Oh my god, can I just say what I take from this? The Pokemon's flies increase and it ignores wars. Talonflame is so mad right now. Talonflame is so mad right now. <laughs> Helen Flame wants this. Fire Spin and Fire Spin Plus. Creates a flaming vortex centered on you, damaging and slowing down your opponent's Pokemon and causing allied Pokemon inside the vortex to take some of the damage instead. At the start of this move, the Pokemon gains the shield effect and the move ends when the shield effect disappears. If a certain amount of time elapses while the shield effect is still in effect, or if this move is used again, a heat wave is released around the Pokemon, damaging the opponent's Pokemon. The more damage it takes while the effect lasts, the more damage it does. Upgraded to automatically emit a heat wave when its shield effect is lost. This is so interesting to me. Allied Pokemon inside the vortex also take some of the damage instead. So you don't want to be close to your allies when this happens, it seems. So the more damage you take, the longer the effect lasts. So maybe the allied Pokemon also can tank some of that for you so it, it lasts longer. That's just my guess. Like, that's how I see it. Next, we have Flamethrower and the Flamethrower Plus. Sprays out a burst of flames in the specified direction, damaging the opponent's Pokemon and lowering its attack and special attack. The longer the flame is out, the longer the wait for this move. If you keep hitting the opponent's Pokemon with this move, it will be burned for a certain period of time and its movement speed will be reduced. 
When a burnt Pokemon moves, a trail of flames is left behind and the opponent's Pokemon on the trail of flames is burned and its movement speed is reduced. Upgraded, the time it splits flames becomes something and the wait time for this move becomes maybe longer or shorter. So special attack and attack, so you, you, you do lower their damage. They do less damage. Probably really good to put on the Pokemon that do the most amount of damage. You also, just a lot of debuffs on this move. It's really nice. And when the burnt Pokemon moves, it also can like decrease movement speed to everyone else as well. Next ability is Sky Attack and Sky Attack Plus. The God Bird, the God Bird. <laughs> spreads its wings and charges, then turns around and returns to its original position. It damages any Pokemon it hits and burns the ground it passes through for a while. The burning ground damages and slows the opponent's Pokemon. If the attacker uses this move again or uses another move, the assault stops on the spot. And when you upgrade this, it gains, regains a little HP while over burning ground on burning while burning the ground something like that i like this fire set to be honest i think it sounds really good it sounds fun to use a lot of like um zoning out with this as well and the unite move rainbow flame of resurrection resurrection when a pokemon is ko'd it will leave a feather mark for a short while after spreading its wings wide, it expands all of its Aeos energy to heal the KO'd Pokemon and return it to the battlefield from the position of the Feather Mark. The more Aeos energy it consumes, the more allied Pokemon it can return to battle. What? It resurrects? Resur I said that weird. That is so scary. You would always want to resurrect like the po like it can do multiple Pokemon, the more allied Pokemon it can return to the battle. Bro, I don't know how I feel about this. That's scary. Well, that is the last move. I don't know why I did that. I was like expecting like, oh, let's go into the six. I didn't count how many moves there are in games, but let's go into the next one. But yeah, that's cool. Really happy. I would love to have this Pokemon in the game. Hopefully it comes. Train us in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about Ho-Oh coming to the game. If it does come to the game, what you think about these abilities. A little bit sus, the God Bird is a funny thing to call it, huh? It sounds like one of those funny translations when you try to translate the Japanese patch notes. <laughs> also, I will be going to Japan for a few weeks, but I'll try to upload as much as I can while I'm there. And when I'm back, there will be a very different upload schedule because as you can see, I there's just been a lot. I have a lot on my plate in regards of like other things that's been happening, but I really want to get back into all the content making that I really enjoy. And I might do some vlogs for Japan as well. If you're interested in that, then I'll probably make a separate channel for it. I, I think it'll be really fun. So yeah, but that is the, um, the leak. Well, this Pokemon. Thank you so much for watching trainers and I hope to catch you for the next one. Subscribe to the Bouts of for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oops, can you please take this photo?